Hello dear students, welcome. This is Dr. Hadi here and you are watching my channel Medical Glow by Dr. Hadi. I welcome you to the topic, very special topic, which is volume of distribution in biopharmaceutic. And it is a word that we use in pharmacokinetic terms as well. But let's uh, start this topic, volume of distribution. What is the volume of distribution? We can study the volume of distribution by two ways. One is on the formula aspect and another on the conceptual aspect. On conceptual aspect, the volume of distribution is that volume of the body fluid. Here for the volume of distribution, we use the word body fluid. In body fluid, we will refer to the water. The drug that we give to the patient, the drug that we administer to the patient usually enters the body. So inside the body we have water and the water is in volume means 10 liter, 5 liter, 6 liter, whatever the volume is. The drug that we administer, that drug will be the part of the water and that drug will occupy some volume of the water. So a drug that distribute itself in more water we will say that drug has more volume of distribution and the drug that is less distributed in water we say that has less volume of distribution for example let's suppose this is blood and you give a drug to the patient the drug will come first to the blood and from the blood the drug will enter into the interstitial part that is called tissue fluid that is fluid and third one the cell inside the cell if we see here the water can be found in the blood in the tissue fluid as well as inside the cell so let's start if a drug has being distributed in the blood only only in the blood and also let's suppose we have the volume of the blood is let's suppose that is 5 liter let's suppose tissue fluid has 4 liter it, these are just assumed values these are not the real values just i'm going to clear the idea of volume of distribution right so 4 liter is the tissue fluid and cell has a 3 liter 3 liter is the water inside the body cell so if the drug may remain in the blood the drug is unable to enter into the tissue fluid we will say that the volume of distribution of the drug is 5 liter only because the drug is only in the blood and if the drug also distributes itself in the tissue fluid the water that is outside the blood in between the cells you know that space is intercellular space or interstitial space here the water is found and the drug if enters here we will say that the volume of distribution is now increased now the volume of distribution is 5 liter and 4 that is 9 liter so the more the drug distributes itself we say the volume of distribution is high now next if another drug we have that from the blood enters the tissue fluid and also they enter the inside the cell means the water inside the cell this water can also be mixed with the drug in this case we will say that the volume of distribution has further increased so let's suppose the water inside the cell is 3 liter the tissue fluid water 4 liter blood 5 liter 5 4 9 in 3 11 10 11 12 so in this case the volume of distribution is 12 liter dear students this idea which you are watching this time has been derived from the has been taken from the book of lippincott this is just one idea i mentioned in lippincott that the, the drug which is distributed in the blood only has less volume of distribution if it is distributed to the tissue fluid has more volume of distribution and if it also enters the cell it has more volume of distribution now come to the formula and the definition of the volume of distribution the volume of distribution is the apparent volume uh, 
in which the drug is distributed apparent volume of the body fluid if you mention it is also okay if you don't mention it is also right apparent volume in which the drug is distributed is called as the volume of distribution okay now come to the formula what is the formula of volume of distribution if you want to find out the volume of distribution of any drug that is has been given to the patient can be easily determined or find out by the formula volume of distribution is equal to dose upon cp what is cp cp is the plasma concentration and dose is the amount given cp is the plasma conversion here in the blood if you just take out one ml just take out one drop of blood one ml of the blood and if you find here that inside this one ml of blood uh, i got five milligram so five milligram in one ml of the blood is called the cp means concentration in the plasma because plasma contain water so there must be the drug must be dissolved inside the plasma water so that is why we will divide the dose with the plasma concentration and the answer will be the volume of distribution suppose we got uh, we took a blood sample from the patient and in that blood sample we came to know that there is uh, 5 milligram of drug in 1 ml so what will be the volume of distribution so you don't worry now you how to find this just put the values okay one thing more i have not mentioned the dose i have not mentioned the dose look 5 milligram per ml is not the dose 5 milligram per ml is the concentration of the drug in the blood but the dose that we give to the patient is something else let's suppose this is 500 milligram 500 milligram has been given to the patient so 5 milligram is your 5 milligram is your dose and 500 milligram and 5 milligram per ml is the uh, concentration in plasma right one thing more if you have the concentration in ml you have to convert this in liter you have to convert this in liter just tell me if one ml we already know that thousand ml is equal to one liter right so what you what we have to do we just have to convert this five milligram per ml into liter means if you have five milligram in one ml what will be the amount in thousand ml in thousand ml so for this reason what we have to do you have to multiply five milligram with thousand or only you have to do this five milligram multiply by thousand multiply by thousand so here we got five thousand milligram it means five thousand milligram in one liter that is also easy you can easily determine you can easily convert milligram per ml into milligram per liter just multiply it with thousand so the main thing is you have to bring the answer in liter right okay that's so easy now you must divide 500 by 5000 so what will be the answer this is how uh, we have double zeros and here also we have double zeros okay 500 milligram right now divide this 5 with uh, 50 that is 1 milligram on the upside and 10 milligram per liter on the other side this 1 milligram and 10 milligram look at this if I just cut this milligram with this milligram we will get what 10 per liter 10 per liter this is 1 divided by 10 per liter and also divide 1 by 10 divide 1 by 10 
Okay, give them 0, 10, 1, 10, answer is 0 0.1. So here is 0 0.1 liter lift liter if 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 l is below the line in minus one when it comes up the minus sign will convert into plus sign so it becomes 0 0.1 liter so my dear students finally the volume of distribution of the drug is 0 0.1 liter of that drug i hope you got this idea uh, it, it, by this formula you can also calculate the volume of distribution of other drugs as well uh, one thing more any student can make sure that the drug volume of distribution may be one liter five liter all possible but what about that point when someone say a drug has 500 liter this is quite uh, astonishing for any student once he or she find it that it, do our body have 500 liter of liquid no the body does not have 500 liter of the liquid this 500 liter will only come by the formula so that is why we use the word apparent volume apparent means that volume of the water may not be necessarily in the body but that volume comes under the formula so under the formula it may be 500 liter or maybe 5 liter both cases the answer is right answer thank you for watching the video i hope you like that video thank you bye bye see you